Welcome back to Score the Podcast. We're here inside my favorite studio name thus far, the Computer Hell Cabin. Yeah. And by the way, if this is what hell looks like, count me yeah. in, because it is one of the coolest rooms we've been in. It's been portrayed as something so terrible for the longest time. If, <laughs> if someone can tell me that I would end up in a studio like this, eternity wouldn't be long enough. <laughs> uh, we want to welcome in our guest this week, Tom Holkenborg, a.k.a. Junkie XL. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being here. Uh, so for, let, let's clear the air here, because is it, is it Tom? Do you go by Tom? Do you go by Junkie XL? What do you prefer out well, there? Well, you don't get born a junkie, do you? <laughs> so I, You know what? There is some <laughs> evidence that if your mother yeah, yeah, was yeah. addicted. So. Mine wasn't. Uh, no, so yeah, it's, it's, it's technically Tom, and then uh, Junkie XL became my uh, producer name in the 90s, uh, halfway 90s. And then when I was um, uh, putting out the Elvis remix, um, my agent had a, uh, a conversation with uh, the lawyer from the Elvis estate. And I said, well, you know, we just listened to the remix of Elvis. We really, really love it. So what's this guy's name again? <laughs> and so my agent uh, said, well, his name is Junkie XL. And it was like quiet on the other end of the phone saying, you've got to be freaking killing him. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So for that release, we changed it to JXL. <clears throat> oh. So that's been another name that we use if, if Junkie is like too sensitive. Yeah. But um, I still do um, movies under the name Junkie XL if the movie is strongly rooted in pop culture. Uh, but if it's more like a serious drama, it's just Tom Holkenborg, like Black Mass, for instance. Yeah, that's interesting that you make that distinction. 